So we got an anonymous note on our car this week. It was after the annual Donuts with Dads event at the elementary school. Tomoka Elementary. That's right. The note had two simple words on it. The first started with A, followed by two S's. And the second one started with an H. Yeah. Just a little note to make sure we knew how someone felt about us on our car. But perhaps some background would be helpful. We surmised that the note was left because our car was parked over the lines on one side, making the neighboring spot unusable. What the note writer may not have seen is that at the time we parked, there were trucks on either side, and they were parked over the lines, and this was the only way to squeeze our car in between in an already busy, chaotic parking lot. The point is, they made a judgment based on what they could see, and they wanted to make sure we knew how they felt about it. What it missed is the grace, the grace for what they couldn't see, the things that shaped our decision and our parking job, the things that made us appear like a H. But in this particular case, we were making the best decision we could in a crowded, crazy parking situation. And it made me think, when am I making decisions that a person is an A-H? without seeing all the situations and circumstances that made them go over the line. We do it in politics, we do it in traffic, we do it to people all around us. We have no earthly idea what it is like to be in another person's shoes. We don't have the omniscience that would allow us to make these encompassing declarations. We just don't know. Look on the Myers-Briggs test, if you're familiar with that, I'm a J. That means judgment. It helps me make fast decisions. It helps me think quickly. Being a J is a gift in many ways. And it means sometimes I have to slow down and be more of J's opposite, which is a P, the perceiver. If we can slow down and perceive, listen, observe, and engage a bit more, then there is space for grace where there wasn't before. And if we are truly seeking peace, as our community statement says, if we're truly becoming more like love and its source, if we are transforming each day into the image of our maker, then grace seems really, truly, and deeply appropriate. Dare I say, necessary. Maybe even imperative. My hope for us today is that engaging with folks who have been through things we can't imagine, we find the grace. Most of us have no idea what it's like to go through the living hell that is war and the ways it leaves people over the lines. The way it leaves these marks on people that are entirely invisible unless there's physical damage as well and they're expected to just jump back into normal life like all is well. Today is about grace, about extending it to others through a smile, a conversation, some gratitude, and maybe we learn about extending a little to the rest of our lives. Amen. So we're going to take our cards, and we have a friend, Bill, somewhere around here. There's Bill. Hi, Hi. Bill. And Bill's going to walk us back to an area where a lot of uh, the residents here are gathered. And um, we'll deliver our cards and some smiles and some highs and how you doing. And then we'll gather back here uh, when it seems like that part's done. So let's get started.